Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. One of us are feeling all right today. <laughs> it ain't me. Uh, oh, hang on. There's a little bit of thing on you. There. Yeah, I had a drink too many last night and I'm feeling a bit rough. I told him. I said, you're going to regret it. Just get in. You, you need to know when to stop. You know. I don't feel rough, I've just no energy mm. at all. Now, yeah, well, let's be real, that's because of that. Well, they'd say no, but, uh, you know, with the sun, sitting out in the sun, and yesterday did knock us out of us yesterday, actually, didn't it? Certainly <laughs> did, it were a hard day. Yeah. Um, right, we're not going anywhere today. Not travelling off? No. No. You know, it's a shame, we are missing a lot of the good bits of Wales, but at the end of the day, when it's so hot, it's just too hot to go anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, we're just trying to enjoy the campsites, that. really. Yeah. Uh, that's why you missed a few videos recently. We were just chilling on the campsite, trying to keep cool, weren't we? Well, to be fair, the last campsite we were on, there weren't nothing really to film anyway. Yeah, but we could have travelled off, but it's could've just too done. hot to could've done, I walk around Ow, places. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye. Yeah, don't do that. Ow. So, today, uh, we might, we're might. we going to see if we can get in the woods just over there. Yeah. What are you doing? You're doing I'm jobs again. I'm cleaning windows, but can I just take them into my bedroom quick? Oh. <sighs> Now I keep having trouble with these hinges. You do. Now when I put the window out, I can't get it back in. Yeah, WD-40. No, it's not that. Is there any way I can replace these? Replace and what? I remember I had this trouble once before and it took me ages to get it back down. The hinges. The hinges need some WD-40 in them. Simple as that, don't be. It's not WD-40, they're not working. I'll sort that in a minute. Um, right, I've got a couple of emails, I'm just going to quickly go through them. The first one is from Paul Young. Paul Young has sent us a picture of his new pup. A very blurry picture, may I add. Oh, let's have a look. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> it's a black thing. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! It looks like something is won at the fair. Oh, it? it's <laughs> so cute! I don't know what kind that is, it looks maybe baby Alsatian or something, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it looks lovely, Paul, thank you for the picture. Yay, I got it down! She's got a window down. Um, if you were, st oh, this is from Mick Louie. Uh, hi, Dan and Maz, I've been watching you guys for years. My question is to Dan, if you were stuck on an island for six months, would you rather have Mazzy or six months supply of John Smith's bitter with you? Oh, Stupid question. Stupid question, isn't it, babe? You answer that, yeah. You answer John that. John Smith's every time. We've just been saying, actually. Yeah. Haven't we just been saying, haven't we just been saying, the Wolf Wise tent. The, the, what is it, a shelter, shelter tent thing. Oh, you know, it's only small. And only one person can fit in it. I said to Mazzy, you know, I'd in this sun, just to get out of the sun, I'd happily just take a chair in there, have my bird feeder sticking through the middle, so the birds I can see the birds above my head. Um a big box of John Smith's. And I'll just sit in there, clut, I'll zip zip it up behind me and I would be happy in there, just leave me all day. I'll be happy, just looking up at the birds drinking John Smith's. Uh yeah, John Smith's every time. You know what you can do tonight, then? Look, I've been with John Smith <laughs> a lot longer than I've been with you. The next one is from Lisa, who I'm guessing her and her partner manage a camping and caravan CL site called Brookfields. Um, you are welcome to come and we'll cover your stay for a couple of nights. Well, thank you very much, Lisa. Oh, thank you. Uh, Chipping Ongar, I think that's North East, just out of London, Greater London. I think I'm right. Um, we're rarely in that area, but if we ever are, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Who else have we got? Oh, Chris Sutherland. <sighs> just seen your latest vlog. You mentioned a Sun app to check when and where the sun will be. 
what's it called? Mm, and some, brilliant, that. You still use it, don't you? Yeah, and someone yeah. actually said, is that a real app or have you, have you made it up or something? <laughs> it is a real app. It is called the uh, Sun's Path. So if you type in Sun's Path, and what you do, I don't think I'm going to be able to show it on here, really. Yes, it'll be difficult. Is it going to show it? See there, it shows you uh, the sun's path. Now, if you do it up to the sky, oh, I can't do it. I don't think it's working because I'm inside. But it shows you where it's going to be at what time, and you can move your phone around. Let, let's go outside. Let's just see if it'll do it. I don't think it will. Oh. There. Yeah, you're not going to see that, are you? But it tells you where the sun is at what time, so you can, especially when you're coming onto a campsite, you can decide which way you want to face your van, decide, uh, depending on when the sun's going to be there in the afternoon or morning, depending on your preference. So, yeah, Sun's Path, it's a brilliant app. Highly recommend it. Still hard at it. Uh, Andy Steptoe says the Guinness coffee is... Horrible. <laughs> if you're going to try something new, try one of these. Now these he got out of uh, Aldi, and I would not try either of them. They sound disgusting. Um, Neo Neapolitan milk stout. Ew. Well, I don't like milk. I'm not keen on stout, so no. And the other one is blueberry maple stout. It sounds really sickly. Both 6%, definitely not for me. Yeah, but I bet there's somebody out there now is going to go, oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to try one of those. I'm just not a stout like. I think stout's way too sweet. Um, yeah, not for me. Anita was asking about his GoPro batteries. Um, I haven't got a link for them, Anita. Just type, just go into Amazon, type GoPro batteries and go for the cheap ones. <laughs> Um, three of these. These have got a nine on them. We've got some what as latest ones have a ten on them. Um, you get three in a charger. I think they're about forty-five pounds. A lot cheaper than the GoPro batteries, and they do fine for us. Um, yeah, I'd re highly recommend them. But you'll see them. Just type it into Amazon, and you'll see these little boxes with three. There's loads of them, different makes, I think. And you wanted to know what the little battery charger looking thing is on his GoPro. It's not a battery charger. If you have the, oh, what's it called? The original GoPro case we broke? The mod? Oh, Something. media mod. If you have the media mod on your GoPro, you don't need one. Um, if you have a different case like we have now, you lands it, you need this. It's just to convert um, to, so that you can use an external microphone, that's all. But you do need it, and it's fifty quid. So a lot of money. it's a lot of money for what it is, yeah. That's the one thing with GoPro. I, it's just accessory after accessory after accessory. You're never done with it. It's an expensive way of filming, vlogging, or whatever in it. Yeah, but once you get the right setup. Yeah, but it takes a while as well. You buy ten things before you find the yeah. finally find, let's say, what is really suitable for Which you. Which we now have. Oh, uh, yeah. Until I mean, the new GoPro comes out. Yeah. End of September. I hope all these gadgets are going to fit on the new one. I do. I do. <laughs> um, yeah, GoPro announced, or it was leaked, they were bringing out three new cameras this year. And they always release at the end of September. Now, there is a bit of a rumour going around that they're actually going to release a, vo a vlogging camera. So if they do, it's not going to be like an action camera. I would imagine it will have a zoom on it as well. So that could be fantastic. So wait until the end of September, see what they come up with. But we'll Do enjoy it though. You know, other people out there might want the rec do do we recommend it? I mean we do, but you I'm, all I'm saying is you've got you've got to have a bit of money, haven't you? Because it never stops there. Well, if you want your external microphone, yeah. Yeah. If you just want the GoPro, that's not too bad a price really. Well yeah. But yeah, we're very happy with us GoPro. It's the best, you know, we've used the DSLRs and you just don't get the stabilisation. So it does the job for us brilliantly, doesn't it? Yeah, and this new mic also. 
Fantastic. The new mic is You've brilliant. You've had some really great feedback on that, and you, you're pleased with it, aren't you? Just reading the comments from you guys, people have said in the comments, the sound is incredible. It's like we're actually there with you, you know, because it's 360. You can hear all the, you know, all the traffic going past, all the trees rustling and stuff. It is incredible. Very happy with that. I set the bird table up yesterday. Very disappointed. Not a single bird around here, apart from pigeons. Um, I've put some right stuff down for them. Look, they've got a right treat. They've got peanuts sunflower seeds, a new fat ball, wild bird seed, mealy worms, them still, them still, water, the fat barley, coconut and this beauty. You know they've got a right selection there. There's just no birds. It's really depressing uh, because you know we're near a wood. I think that's what it is. When you're near a wood um, they don't seem to come on the campsites, they seem to just stick in the woods because there's plenty there for them to eat and stuff. So anyway, so I'm giving up on the birds today, but what I have decided to do is, we, we're in, it seems we're under a flight path and there's loads of jets going over so I'm going to get my zoomy camera out anyway and see if I can zoom into some of them, get some shots of the planes going over because with it being such a crystal clear day, you can see them perfectly above there. So with the camera, I might be able to get you a shot or two. While Dan's outside filming, I think he's trying to get planes or something today on his big Sumi camera. Um, I've given myself a little project. So I've, I've got to the end of the day to get this done. Let me just quickly show you what I'm talking about. Right, so quite recently, I don't know if you're going to see this actually, Quite recently, bought these shorts for my daughter, one of my daughters. See, like, the little frilly bit there. Excuse my nails and fingers, that's just dull tan. So, anyway, I've got a pair of shorts. <laughs> now, Dan says they're a little bit up my bum. And I've got an old 90. So, what I'm going to do is cut all the bottom off and put my own little sort of trimming on it. It will give me another sort of inch or so, so it's not... Not up me bum so much. What do you think? Well, I'll give it a go anyway, because the 90, I think, it's, you know, it's old fashioned, you know. I've had me days of it. I bought it from a charity shop. I think it was in Ireland or Scotland or somewhere like that. So I'm going to do that. That's my project today. Well, Dan's project is catching planes and birds. <laughs> so my first job is literally just cut the hem off this 90 and go from there all the way round. I'm hoping I'll have enough material to do maybe a couple of pairs. There we go, all trimmed up. So I've placed it inside just so you get a rough idea how this is going to look. It's going to look all right. Cheap way of jazzing up a pair of shorts, isn't it? Yeah, I just wanted to quickly show my before and after before I get sewing and stuff. Dan says they're a little bit up me bum. Hey, get out of it! <laughs> oh, that's before. I was going to yeah, say, I can't, see, I can't tell any difference. <laughs> no, I haven't started sewing yet, so ah. I wanted to show the before and after. Okay, so that's before. Yeah. Uh, while I'm here, can I just say, yeah. I'm giving up on the planes. They're too fast, Mazzy. <laughs> no, it's not that, you're too slow. They're too fast, it hurts <laughs> me arm to, to keep adjusting the zoom and the sun's in the wrong place, so I give up. I might get my Seek app out instead and do some plants. I need something to do. Sit there and do your bird. you got your bird. Taylor. There's no birds here, Mazzy. Not a single bird. You need to call them. You don't have to be bored on a campsite when you've nothing to do. There's always something to do. As I say, I've been trying to feed the birds. They're just not interested. They're doing me head in. So I moved on to aeroplanes. Uh, they're too fast. Uh, can't do them. So I'm going on to my Seek app. Now, if you are a regular viewer, you'll know what I'm talking about. But a lot of people won't. So I'm going to just remind you. This is the app. Seek by iNaturalist. And that is what it looks like. A little leaf. 
download that and I'm going to show you what it can do. It's incredible. Maz is calling me a one minute wonder. She's right. I do change hobbies every day, every minute. Right, so you go on the app <clears throat> um, and you click the button there to take the picture. And now, when it's ready, look, you just go into any plant, any flower, any plant. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got little green dots there. You want to get all them dots. There it is, common hazel, it's coming up as. It's in the birch family, common hazel, so I clicked the green button again to take the picture. It's now taking the picture, and then it'll tell me all about it. You might be able to see it a bit better there. So you see the green dots, so if it's only picking up one dot, it's really not got much clue what it is. If it gets three, it's getting a better idea. If it gets them all, you know it's exact and it's got the exact correct species. So there we are. Common hazel, and then it tells you all about it. It's basically from Wikipedia. And it's saying it was an important hedgerow plant uh, in traditional field boundaries in lowland England. So you can read all about it. it tells you where you can find it. Um, how many people have reported it on this app or taken a picture? There's 20 nearby. Whoops. But yeah, it's a brilliant, brilliant app. And you can record where you've seen everything, what you've seen. It also does butterflies. I'm guessing it does. Yeah, it does everything birds, insects, fish, fungi. Highly advised. You know, if you're bored and you just sat there. Just get up and take a picture. I don't even get up. Just take a picture of a leaf. Read about it. Learn something. Don't just sit there doing nothing. Get your brain working. Well, Maz has given up on sewing. She's going to iron it on. With my, I call it Wonder Web. Because I haven't do correctly got the colour uh, thread. And this is just going to be easier, isn't it? Yeah. And I've given up on my app. Have you? <laughs> Well, I've just done it, Mazzy. I did find a common ivy, a common nettle, yeah, a common dandelion. Yeah. I think that were it. Uh, and they're just not interesting me. I need something more exciting, Mazzy. You didn't need an app to find those. Be real, did you? Well, I didn't know, but hey, it passed ten minutes. <laughs> Another great, great game to try if you're bored. Um, is I don't know which country this originates from it's the box turn the box turn have you ever heard of it have you ever played it it's brilliant brilliant what you do is you get a box and a timer put it on one minute press go one two three four five six and see how many times you can turn it in one minute All right, ignore that one. God, I'm so bored. Is this the after? Absolutely loving this. Yeah, this is the after. All right, you're gonna have to come a bit closer. Yep. Give Even got a, a little pocket detail there, look. Mm. Right. Excellent, you can't see your bum anymore. <laughs> I think I wanna do this on a few pairs of shorts. You're not doing it on mine. Oh, hold on, look, still got me pockets there, look as well, haven't I? Yeah, they're there somewhere. Yeah, I love that idea, it's making use of small clothes, isn't it? Mm, well done. Love that. Paid a fortune for these from Next quite recently. Well chuffed. Well <laughs> done. Them, I do, yeah, I prefer them now. Thank you. I've been busy as well. Uh, I'm, st I'm waiting for some planes to come, I'm not giving up. I'm thinking, if they come directly towards me, I might be able to get them. But in the meantime, I've just, I did use my sea cap again. I know, I know. I just did these here. Dogwood. And this is what I'm talking about. I just found out it was dogwood, looked it up, and it said, uh, birds absolutely love them, even better than berries on, on tree. Uh, fruits and things. I don't know if they eat them or the leaves, I'm not sure. 
there's a certain type of moth which loves them. But the fascinating fact about it, Ozil the prehistoric man, the found or something I was just reading, near Austria, um, he, they found him with some arrows made from dogwood. Hmm. So it's used for was used for arrows. Don't know if it still is. Um. Yeah, I just found, and in winter the bright red. I don't know if you know that. They go bright red, they look beautiful. Yeah, sat literally about 10 inches away from them. I didn't even have to move. I didn't have to move for this one either. Just had a, another email. Thank you very much from Debbie and Jez Jones. Um, this is a brilliant email. This is the kind of email we want. Um, they've basically said they're in Burrowbridge, which is between Harrogate and York, I think. Never been there. Um, but I've got a feeling it's quite a nice place. And it's got a river. Uh, there is a new motorhome stop there in the car park. There's two bays. You can stay for two nights. £5 a night. Um, that is brilliant. So I've put a, a heart on my Google Maps. And when we are up that way, we're definitely going to stay there for two nights. If... Uh, if there's a spot available so thanks for that if anyone else knows of any motorhome parking in town centers like that um, anywhere just let us know please because they're the kind of things we love being in a town center being able to stop there in the motorhome in a motorhome designated spot the brilliant absolutely brilliant Stratford upon Avon was the best we've ever found um, but looking forward to doing that one let us know if you know of any more please Anybody else uh, down in, uh, send us an email. Travel Trolls TV at hotmail.com. Honestly, I'm making a video without moving today. This is brilliant. You don't have to move. Another quickie without moving. Um, so, this is the camera which we were sent by to, sent from Alan Allen. Thank you very much. Um, Mazzy couldn't get on with it, so I use it for my zoomy pictures. It is incredible. I know people are going to ask what it is again. It is the Canon SX60HS. And if you want to zoom in a million miles, that will do the job. Brilliant. Uh, and the tripod was from Azzy. Thank you again, Azzy. Um, he got this sent out to us. It's a van it says Vanguard on it. But we have had a problem with it. It's a VO. There's the model number. Um, but we have had a problem with it lately. <clears throat> well, for the last year, really. This seems to, like, go underneath. And the only way to fix it is to get an Allen key, take that screw out, take that screw out, uh, redo it, and then screw it back in. And it's becoming a bit of a pain. I'm having to do it nearly every time I'm using it nowadays. So, thank you very much. We do appreciate that. Look at me. Look at me. I've got shorts on. We do appreciate you sending, getting that sent to us, as We really do. But we might have another one on its way from um, from Mazzy's cousin Earl. It's a, what make is it? Manfrodo, Man, Manf, whatever it's called, which I do know is like one of the best, if not the best make out there. Um, I don't know if it's going to be suitable or not, but if, if that turns up, it might solve us problems. But you know, it's, it's doing the job for now. <sighs> So Mazzy got uh, a book of best loved poems yesterday. Yes, and somebody asked for me to read a poem, which Dan has only just told me about. In the comments. But hey ho, he wants to read me one, so let's go with this. Let's go with it. I've got two. You've got two? Some of the poems in here, <laughs> well, I'll just read them, yeah. The first one is The Frog. The Frog, okay. What a wonderful bird the frog are. Bird? Okay, yeah, let's go with this. When he stand, he sit almost. Sit is what you've done all day, yeah. When he <laughs> hop, he fly almost. He ain't got no sense hardly. He ain't got no tail hardly either. When he sit, he sit on what he ain't got almost. That's the end of the poem. It's called The Frog by Anon. Anonymous. 
because no one's going to put the name to that other. How can that be published? That should be called the dad. That kind of resembles you today. Yeah, I've got poetry published. Yeah. I have got poetry published, but uh, you'll never find out. He won't even tell me, actually. No. <laughs> One day you better. <laughs> but that is the, probably the worst poem I've ever well, heard in my life. Well, read a nice one. Well, Don't just find a rubbish one just to take the mic. Okay. That's not fair. Okay, let's read one by a, a very, very well-known one, yeah? Yeah. D.H. Lawrence. You ready for this? Yeah. The tiny fish enjoy themselves in the sea. Quick little splinters of life. Their little lives are fun to them in the sea. Oh, I really like that. What was that one called? What was that poem called? I don't even know, Mazzy. I, I, I've lost it. Oh, I didn't mind that This one. is worth a pound, just for the laugh. No, it's not a laugh. I like stuff like this. That ain't poetry. That is gibberish. It just makes you think beyond beyond the mind sometimes. It puts you in another place. But, Mazzy, the first one... It sounded like a refugee who can't speak English very well. There it is, look. Little, little fish. fish. The frog and little fish. There's one called the yak. Might get onto that tomorrow. No, it's a little bit too long. <laughs> it's two pages, this one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Read me a love, love, lovey dovey one. They are lovey dovey ones if you're a fish or a frog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. These are ridiculous. These are ridiculous. We've got, just got to read another one. The False Heart. Okay, this is by Hilaire Belloc. Right? I said to Hart, How goes it? Hart replied, Right as a ribstone pippin, but it lied. That's not a poem. That's gibberish. Oh. I must apologise. Mazza is saying I didn't get into it. I didn't do it in, in like Romeo and Juliet type yeah. thing. Yeah. So I'm going to do that for you now, Mazza. Okay. Because this one is by the writer of Romeo and Juliet. Oh, Willi is it? William Shakespeare. Right, well, can you name the poem? The, so the poem is called yeah. Song, Where the Bee Sucks, There Suck I. Okay. So you're going to do this. Okay, yeah, let's go with it. Where the bee sucks, there suck I. In a... Sing. It's not a song, it's a poem. I thought you wanted me to do it in like old English type. Yeah, but you're singing. Go on, anyway, go on. Where the bee sucks, there suck I. In a cowslip's bell, I die. There I couch when owls do cry on the bat's back. I do fly. After summer merrily, 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 shall I live now under the blossom that hangs on the bough. Absolute pants. William Shakespeare, bravo, what a bravo. waste of time. Rubbish. Bravo. Pound well spent that was. Bravo. Would you prefer me to read you a bit out of my bird watching no, book? I've had enough. Maybe another day, yeah. Talking about poetry, right? Can you remember, Mazzy, that manuscript what was left in the pub by that poet? Yeah. Um, that, did you? Dylan Thomas, right? Never heard of him. Neither of us have, have we? No. People leaving comments. You are joking, aren't you? You have heard of him, really? No, we haven't heard of him, all right? No. You've, I bet you've not heard of the same people who were saying that. Have you heard of Terry McDermott? No, I bet you haven't. He's a football player, played for Liverpool, but everyone should have heard of him. You know, everyone knows different things in life. We're not all into poetry. We're not all into football. Uh, I'm sorry if I've never heard of Dylan Thomas. But what I will say is there's actually one Dylan Thomas poem in this book. I'm not going to read it to you because it's quite a long one. It's called, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. And I've just read it, and it's a pretty good one. It's better than all the other ones I've just read. Let's put it that way. So, yeah, I quite like that poem is done, but never heard of the guy. What are you doing? I'm cooking. Um, Anything I'm, nice? It's kind of making use of what we have. 
Right, so we have mince that I pulled out the freezer yesterday. Yeah. So I'm going to make my Mazzy homemade burgers. Lovely. They're not burgers like everyone thinks they are. They're homemade burgers, mashed potato, uh, onion gravy, stuff Beautiful. like that. So what I do do is pre-cook a few of these to put into the balls of um, our burgers. Yeah. I think some people might call these faggots, actually. No, they're not faggots, but they are no. a similar size to faggots. They've got a bit of a faggoty... Um, I've never had a faggot. I would say it's more like a faggot than it is like a, a burger. It's just what I used to call them. My dad used to always make these for us, and uh, it was just homemade burger and mash. And it is going to be beautiful. It is one of my favourite meals, what Mazzy does. It's, yeah. it's a really nice, homely meal. But it is more of a winter meal. Yeah, and it's we've like, been we've been saying it might not be the right weather for it, but I'm sure it's going to be lovely. Well, we're just you know filling the hole. We've got mince in the to be eaten, so why not? Yeah. And we've got a very big hole. What needs feed filling? <laughs> That's me. Ow! Have you just? Oh, oh, you're right. <laughs> you recorded that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Left oven door open and bang oh, head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, where were we? Uh, super <laughs> thanks, Mazu. We've Yay! got some super thanks to give. Big, massive super thanks. Massive, massive thank yous to Jacob Clayton again. Oh, Jacob, thank you. <laughs> Going for a bimble again. Go for a bimble. Thank you. <laughs> caravanning in caravan again. Thank you, caravanning in the caravan. <laughs> You'll get it right one day. And GC again. GC, thank you. One, two, three, four people who have donated with super thanks a few times to us. Yeah. So thank you so much yeah. for your support. It's amazing. Thank you all. Um, I'm noticing you're doing, you haven't even taken the mince out of its packet and you. No, I'm using it as a bowl because I don't really have a bowl, do I? That's a good idea, that. Yeah. Saves on washing up. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, is it? No. So what have you put in it? Just a few cooked onions. That's for the onion gravy. That's the mash. And I'm about to boil these up with a little bit of uh, flour. Put them on my bacon tray in the oven. Do they not need egg? Well, you can, but I don't. Yeah. Why? Why? I'll just, I'll just, you know, I'm not, I'm not telling you how to cook, Mazzy. It's no. just personal. Uh, no, I, I, I'd use egg. Put egg, but. You don't need it. I'd have egg, a sprinkling of caviar. You're um, just wasting some your eggs. Rocket, um, rocket leaves for garnish. <sighs> That's what I'd do, but hey, do it your way. I think we're gonna have to show this dinner tomorrow, aren't we, on tomorrow's vlog? Because it's probably about time now, is it? Is it about time? Well, video's about 33, 34 Let me minutes just long. Wash my hands. Well, do you want to say goodbye to him before you do? What, what do you think we're going to do? Just stand here and wait? We literally are just standing here waiting for you to wash your hands and come back. How rude! In the middle of a video clip. 